save rivers. We should not cut the trees. The following demands and the request before the government before the early redressal. They should take some people's consent. They should make a you know open a forum. So we are going to do all these and how do you feel like you know uh, how we can make it more uh, you know uh, good effective without harming our nature our place you know so uh, nothing impossible i believe nothing impossible one goodwill can really make a sense i believe it's a democratic country you cannot possibly take a, a decision where the stakeholders uh, are at risk you need to give some leverage to them you need to uh, accept somewhere a little bit of their demands so that uh, you know both parties the stakeholders and the government they are both happy we are not saying that a, a bridge is not required we are not saying that to build the bridge by all means but today is the day of in, like advanced technology so why can't you build the bridge without harming the environment please think like any all everyone in the administration they also have children you know like so they have to think about the future 383 people lost their lives to save trees that was the first chipko movement at khejeri to save the khejeri trees and if you study about the bishnoism there uh, how they how they protect the environment the animals it is uh, amazing the government uh, planning to cut uh, cut the around 300 trees and uh, those are the trees which is uh, some of the trees are 100 years old and we we just spend our childhood in those uh, in the canopy of those trees you know trees is li- is the life of human being not only human being it is for all living creatures let the trees be saved and let the bridge be constructed and it is not a question of impossibility the possibility is in this scientific yeah or engineering when the engineering knowledge has rather expanded we have got many many ways to to save the trees they do not cut the trees they uproot it they lift it and uh, retransplant somewhere but which is not done in assam secondly they said they are going to replant the trees we know the record of the government of replanting trees and all we have seen everywhere that they uh, do uh, plant trees but due to lack of uh, care it dries down and as a result uh, government lose lot of lot, lot of money and uh, they are not very serious of replantation of trees you can see this kind of markings so our main concerns which have kind of come in our mind that why they have done this marking so this is a clear indication by the forest department that they will there is a utmost possibility of cutting down the trees and uh, the government agencies which have come here they are uh, the, you know telling that uh, the the park is going in a triangular shape so it will uh, completely washed away if we are going into the part of developing uh, developed country so we were hesitating to use the technological experts or technological advances so we should go for a technical committee to set up uh, to know about the possibility of saving this park so that is a basic alternative and sensible um, my analysis since this trees will be obstruct, um, obstruction on their path so they will fell the trees and this is not desirable and we will fight to the last